All right, welcome back to more of Hyro's Resurrection. And hopefully we can finish this off in this part. Uh, finish the quest off. Uh, most of this level is pretty much getting the gold arrow. And once you get the gold arrow, that's pretty much, you know, the main objective of this. Uh, because you actually need gold arrows to get, uh, get rid of these blocks. And one last patch of three, which I don't even know if you have to battle this one, actually. Nothing at first, but if you notice this kind of empty fireplace, if you actually go in here, this is where you find the boss key. Kind of just tucked away in that corner. Alright, now we can, you know, proceed onward. Kind of battle Ganon. get a little rough and you'll see why. Try if, if that possible, try to keep an eye on where his fireball is coming from. Because that's the one that's gonna do all the damage to you. And, you know, the statue fireball will pretty much do no damage. Uh, so yeah, hurricane spin's an option, but if you can, <laughs> that's if you can actually get it off. And just try to get some combos in there. And it takes a lot of hits to take him down, even with Master Sword. Just kind of slash away. So unless you get some, you know, really solid combos in, but you can. If you're lucky enough, you can actually lock them down. And get like you know, five, six hits in there. Or if you get critical hits in there with your whimsical ring, that also will add on damage. Uh, can he be knocked down yet? I think he is. Yep, there he is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Almost missed my chance there. <clears throat> Kinda hard, I thought he changed color. Alright, so before you start celebrating that this is this battle's over, uh, you want to make sure you're at a full power, full magic, you know, just let your stuff refill. Yeah, there's something weird about this. 
Something's not quite right about this. How come I can actually hit uh, Zelda in this case? Oh, goody. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, guess what? You get the battle again and again. This time with conveyor belts. Oh, have fun with this one. Uh, Naru's Love is nice to use for just some uh, temporary protection. You know, if you need a little bit of time to get back some life. Combos on that one. Probably best to just stay in a spot that the conveyor belts aren't going to impact you that much. So that, you know, you don't get it. You know, you're not having to battle conveyor belts, basically. Each hit from Ganon's a heart, so if anything, you've got to get hit by statues. Statue fireballs got to do a lot of damage to you. It still takes a lot of hits to knock him down. Listen to the music here, but it sounds like what you know what music. Yeah, this one's a lot harder than the first time, because now you have all the conveyor belts to worry about. Some good combos on that one. And there we go. <laughs> Down again. Oh, you gotta love the feather. Because it's just buying you a little bit of air time. You know, stalling time to try to get some recovery in there. <clears throat> kind of just staying in a corner next to one of these statues. Because again, I'd rather be hit by these fireballs because they do practically no damage compared to what Ganon will do. Kind of on a weird part of the map. I didn't need to use Naira's Love. Usually I'm using that one and, you know, energy gets really low. So if I really need to gain some time to get energy back, you know, we could do it that way. Yeah, see, I don't want to stand on this side of the floor because, see, I'm having to battle the conveyor belts all the time. So I'd rather be on this half, because at least, you know, I get to be stuck against the wall. Or if you want to be on this side, that's fine as well. Basically, anything so you're not really having to move against the conveyor belt. So, if you're, you know, if you're just kind of staying along a little section of this room, you know, that's totally fine. That's probably a, your best approach. And again, spin attack's kind of hard to use, like your hurricane spin, because, I mean, you're going to have to use it through this. And you're luckily gonna get hit out of it. Okay, this room. You know, there are four Zeldas, and you gotta pick which one. So basically, this is one final opportunity for you to screw up. Uh, whenever you see this, you might wanna just pull out your uh, lens of truth. Because three of these are fake. And, uh... Yeah, again, just to show you, the, you know... 
three of these are fake, and then but this one is you know nothing by it. So, um, I think I actually asked what happened. I actually took a guess. I think you die if you choose the wrong uh, Zelda, which is kind of cruel because it's like you're right at the end, and then you're gonna screw this last little bit up and you know lose it. Oh, thank you, Lens of Truth. That makes my life a whole lot easier. Now, you have to go in front of Zelda to pick your choice, so if you're on the side, then you're not, you know, you haven't made your choice yet. So, you have, you know, your lens will be able to see the false ones. Now, if somebody wants me to show what actually happens, I'll probably do it on a separate video. Okay, that was kind of a somewhat abrupt ending there. Alright, but that is... Otherwise, that's it for the quest Hyrule's Resurrection. Uh, yeah, you can see how long it took to finish this thing. You know, 14 hours. And pretty much can show, I think this is the complete inventory list of items. So it looks like everything is complete here. Uh, again, that's the uh, quest complete in the 14 hours of uh, gameplay time. Alright, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this playthrough of Hyrule's Resurrection, and I'll see what other quests I have on my queue list. And i uh, see you guys later in uh, whichever uh, quest I decide to um, go through next. Alright, see you guys later.